The Man Time podcast is sensation. Mm. It it's a way of life. I I don't want to be over the top about this, but if the Man Time podcast had been around for Pontius Pilate to listen to, things would have been a lot different. What does Man Time mean to me? I think the bigger question is, what does Man Time mean to everyone? We need to bring man back to its former dominance. I'm sick of it, you're sick of it, even women are sick of it. Loose women is on all the time. It's man time now. Man time. Where the fuck have you guys been? You know, I've been here 40 minutes, we have shit to do, you know. This isn't just a piss about, we've got a time limit and we've got shit to do. Where the fuck have you all fucking been? Gaddafi came up to me at a party and said, the only time man time will be worth my time is when I'm dragged into the streets and killed. Ironic, isn't it? Step inside the eye of your mind. Don't you know you might The album is, um, it's a work in progress, really. I'm, I'm really happy. I mean, one of the main reasons I'm so happy to do the podcast is because it means I can be in the studio and I have time to to make my album as well. And, and it's just, it, it's coming, coming on really well. I'm really happy with it, yeah. So she knows it's too late as we're walking on by. So I don't know the words again. It, it, we're looking at a Christmas release. Don't look back in anger. Heard you say. Guys? Is that a good one? Yeah, great. One take. We've never recorded any of this. Mm -mm. Fuck all. I don't know how any of this works. One take later. Oh uh, yeah, I think we do some really valuable work here at the moment. I'm putting together some really important uh, pieces of audio information out for the world. You know, really making a difference in what we say. Um, I wish people would make less of a deal of the fact that I'm a twin. It's not that I have a problem with it. Uh, it's mainly that other people have a problem with it, really. I just... I, I don't want to feel like people think that I'm part of a unit. I am an individual, you know. I have my own thoughts, my own feelings, my own aspirations. Mike, can you just come and give us a hand? We need to just... FUCK OFF! Hey Jack, uh, can we get this podcast started as quickly as possible? Because, you know, I'm on I'm my way to I'm very busy at the moment. Yeah, we're all busy, but we haven't got a lot of time to do this. We do have a schedule. We all have things we need to do. Um, right. I, I, don't, I tell you what, if you really want to do that when we... You go get... I'll go and... I'll yeah. go and get the... You go get them. I'll finish. Because I am very busy. Okay. Very busy with... Your sister. I didn't mean it. What are you... If you just... I need to talk to you, Jack. Deja vu. I'll just uh, close that. What is it about? Um, Jack, I, you're someone I trust and someone who I feel I can talk to about anything. And it's something I feel has ramifications for the podcast. I've just got back from the doctors. You're the twin. Yes. Right. Okay. You, not the other one. Right. Okay. Yes. I get it now. Sorry. What? I'm going to have my legs amputated. So it's not the sister thing. Good. It's basically a, a place where a group of narcissistic, sexist, misogynist, racist, assholes can spew bullshit. Um, into your ears, and in in a time of relative peace and love, like this one, it's what the world needs. <laughs> yeah, yes. Knock knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor Who. That's yeah, yes, yeah, yes, clever. yes. Clever, clever. I'm trying to think of one. Uh, knock knock. Who's there? You know. You know. Avada Kedavra. Oh, he got, got me. Got you there, got me again. I'm trying to think of one. I, I know. I know one. I know. I know one. Who's there? The. The Who. That's a band. Yeah, it's a good I one, like that it? band. They did Wicked. that once. Uh, just, yeah. trying, just trying to think of one. There's definitely one I know. I've got one. 
You know how Dan says he wants to be famous? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Daniel Layton. Daniel Layton who? Well, because he's not famous. Yeah, that's why. It, he's irrelevant. Yeah. See, that's why it's funny. Yeah. I get it. There's one I know. Yes, I got it. I remember it. it. I remember yeah. it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hoot. I fucked it up. I just, I love man time. I just love hanging out, just talking, shooting the shit with all my best friends. It's so much fun. You know, I'm, I'm always the most vocal member of the group. Anything that happens, I've always got an opinion. They tell me to let it in. I've never really listened to them once been edited. I made everyone monogram blazers. And I even made this scene tune. Come on, listen to this. Right, go to the little bit like this. You ready? Man time, man time. We are the best of friends. And um, that's it at the end of every episode, apparently. The fundamental reason why I believe what we do here is so important is because during World War II, during the, well, a Jewish family, were an innocent Jewish family, were forced into hiding and they found the Man Time podcast and it brought them joy, togetherness, but most of all, hope. Our podcast brought hope to a Jewish, an innocent Jewish family in the darkest period of our existence. They had it on a bit too loud though, and the Nazis found them. But there's a lesson in that. Headphones. That's why they were invented. Because of the Nazis. <laughs>